All right, howdy friends. I thought that we'd try something a little different today. I got a little bit of a late start, but I will say that, uh, that today was beautiful. And so uh, I meant to do this about four hours ago. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, I teach guitar lessons inside. You're, all the, most of the guitar stuff that you do is usually inside. But man, today was just an unbelievably beautiful day. And so uh, my good friend uh, moved over to the neighborhood. So I drove him around a little bit. And by the time you do that and run into a few characters and, um, and have a couple beers and, uh, and a, a little food, time gets away from you. But I wanted to uh, tell you that, man, I had a great, uh, a great Monday night at the Underdog the other night. Um, and a guy named Otis Gibbs showed up. Where, and I'm sure that some of you guys follow his YouTube channel. Uh, he's an awesome guy. He interviews really, really cool people. Uh, he's got a cool as shit YouTube channel. Uh, about to hit 100,000 subscribers on there. Not that that matters, but he's, he's doing a cool thing. And a lot of people are digging it. Um, I didn't get a chance to say hi to Otis last Monday night and a good friend of mine uh, said that on his last video that he'd mentioned uh, some nice things about the gig and the trio and all that stuff. So uh, I tracked uh, Otis's phone number down through a good buddy of mine and I uh, called him up today and just had a great, great uh, hour long conversation with him this afternoon, actually in this little park uh, that I'm set up uh, here um right now which is in five points in beautiful sunny east nashville tennessee which is right behind me there's all kinds of bars and nightlife and all kinds of people out today because it's so beautiful um here but if you get a chance to check out otis gibbs um youtube channel definitely do that um there's not going to be any guitar playing on this video but i wanted to um sheerly uh, discuss a little bit of what we think music is to us and and how we perceive the big picture of why we do all this in the first place and 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 I want to say this in a way that um, that's not arrogant or any or anything but I do want to shed a little bit of light on the fact that there is music out there that moves you and speaks to you and changes your life and there's music out there that doesn't. And there's experiences that do that. There's food that does it. There's art that does it. There's all these different things that do it. Relationships, people, friendships, uh, this whole life we, we live here on planet Earth. But, uh, and, 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 it's, it, and I feel like sometimes that people saying things are subjective is kind of a cop out. And I'm trying to get my head around how to eloquently um, describe that feeling. Because people will go, because a lot of times I'll go, man, you know, that band, I'm just, I'm not a fan really, uh, personally, it doesn't move me, you know? And I guess as musicians, a lot of times we feel that we do know what the good stuff is, or if you're a chef, you're, you're a, uh, you, you know what good food is, but you know, and maybe people call us a snob, you know, you get called all these names, you're, you're a hater, you're this, you're that, but I will say that to me there's a big difference in, in, in all these different things and last night was one of them. I went and saw the Pat McLaughlin band at 3rd and Lindsley with Marty Schwartz and Jack Roosh and our good friend Clay Bradley was there with his family and Pat's son and, uh, and a bunch of friends that love Pat's music and, and, and this, is the, this is the deep, deep root system of Nashville, layers deep, guys that have been here for you know longer than I've been alive on this planet. And so. Uh, you know, best friends with John Prine, really good songwriters, great songwriters. These guys know how to craft songs. They're not just throwing a bunch of lyrics together that rhyme. These guys are craftsmen. And so Pat McLaughlin is one of those guys for me. I am a fan. Um, as civilians are fans of, of their, their favorite things, me as a musician, I am a fan of the Pat McLaughlin band because I am moved by this guy's music i'm i'm moved by it and i've been i can't tell you how many of those concerts i've seen but pat has written songs for for and with uh bonnie ray chris stapleton uh sean camp the world famous headliners uh best friends with john prine wrote some of the great songs john prine recorded daddy zilla pumpkin um all these these amazing songs and so pat is a soulful deep you know uh just amazing human being he's lived a lot of life you know and so a guy like that 
uh, is going to be able to say something. I mean, he's got just an unbelievably unique approach to rhythm guitar. He's got an unbelievable sense of, of timing and rhythm and, and this unbelievable sense of melody and how to put chords together and how to, how to create really unique music. And so you got to dig deep and listen to some of these records if you, if you want to get the full scope of what he does. You know, he played mandolin with John Prine. And then he turns around and plays the Telecaster with this unbelievably funky rhythm where he, his whole body is contorting and, 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 and he's getting inside the instrument and he, he's part of it. And so this is the higher vibration of making music and speaking to somebody. And, and it's just, for me, I'm not talking about what I do. I'm talking about what this band does and what I see these guys do. Uh, and, and it makes me uh, forget about everything that else that I'm worried about on, on uh, that's going on in my life. It, it, it makes me forget about uh, everything. It takes me out of my mind and into the music. And the energy that's translated back and forth and, and the language that is spoken in, in something like this is just absolutely unbelievable. And so. Uh, enough about that, but it's Kenny Greenberg on the guitar, Steve Mackey now on the bass, uh, who's filling in for uh, Michael Rhodes. God bless our brother and rest in peace. The you know, the 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 world renowned Michael Rhodes uh, was was a member of the Pat McLaughlin band since I moved to Nashville and I was a little kid, or not a little kid, but but um, when I was a young adult, 21 years old or something, and I started going to see Pat McLaughlin with. Chad, Con Chad Cromwell, Michael Rose, Kenny Greenberg, and Pat McLaughlin at Douglas Corner before it closed, right? And so there's been just years and years and years. I've seen this gig probably 200 times, and it keeps speaking to me. And that's the power of, of music and really, really, really being able to say something on your instrument. And so that to me is why we do all this that to me is why we're here that to me is why we keep going that's why we're we, that's why guys like me are hyper focused and passionate and pummeling these fundamentals and things because i know that that's what it takes to be able to create these beautiful guitar parts that could be two and three notes and then the next minute you're just burning a solo because that's what needs to be a part of that song and so anyway guys this is just a little uh something different here um to share with you guys just the true spirit of making music and zooming out and not forgetting why we do this uh, in the first place and that's to create emotion what we put out into that instrument is what you're telling the listener and the person that's that, that you're communicating with through music so um, there's some other people showing up out here and it's getting a little loud and so I'm gonna sign off for now more on this to come uh, and I know I'll get some comments of too much talking and all that kind of stuff, but I appreciate you guys I, I love the channel. We've got check out uh, Otis Gibbs YouTube channel. Tell him I sent you uh, Of course check out Uncle Larry check out Jack Roos check out Brett Papa check out our buddies um, Much more to come. I'm working with Brett tomorrow and the next day uh, Playing the gig tomorrow night for the the uh, uh, the uh, eclipse after party. We'll call that and then um, Let's just say that, that don't forget May 1st the record drops for uh, In Stereo, which is Tom Bukovac and myself. We can't wait to see what kind of feedback you guys give us on this record. So, hey guys, have a great week. I'll be talking to you guys in the next couple days. Again, thanks a bunch. Uh, signing off from beautiful, sunny East Nashville, Tennessee. Telecasting to you from East Nashville, Tennessee. All right, guys, thanks a bunch. Cheers. this for